Hi, welcome. So, in the last video, we looked at how to create new columns in Power BI and also got an introduction to measures. And actually, measures is DAX, so the data analytics expression, which is one of the heart of Power BI when you are doing your data analysis in Power BI. So, in this video, we are going to continue to look at DAX and see how to use it to make your analysis a bit more interesting. So let's just go straight to the computer and continue to explore that. So here we have this data. Um, you can always go back and take a look at the previous videos, how we created these relationships, because these relationships are important for you to create so that you have the same reaction with your tables like we have here. So I'm going to drop a link for this data um, base here so you're going to get this in this video just check the description and make sure you you get these relationships right and also we did some cleaning of the data some of the rows had missing values coming from excel so we passed through the power query to do some cleaning like taking off the, the empty top rows that were having missing values so just make sure you do those things so that you have the same um, thing that we have here and then we can all just work together so just ensure you do that now if we come here to the power pivot view so remember we looked at new columns last video and we also introduced new measure so we want you to know that um, the measure the dax is actually how, what you use to write you, like you can see here, right? The DAX expression that calculates a value from your data. So the new measure is actually using DAX to do all its calculations. And DAX is the data analysis expression, which is a um, real heart of Power BI. So let's say you have your sales table like this. Then you want to be able to see the revenue per product. Normally, that's what you've been doing. We have been having our revenue here and then we've been having our product so we're having our product and our revenue like that so you could also be able to use your DAX to calculate this revenue so that it becomes lighter and uh, DAX is just being able to evaluate this when you are trying to build this chart so that's one of the major advantages of DAX so if you had no revenue here for example now one you can do you just get a sum of your revenue here and then so that each, at each time you are able to get that that revenue sum and then you are able to slice it per product so that is kind of interesting if you're an excel user it might be kind of a bit confusing but it, as, as, as if the power bi first filters the data and then is able to now upgrade the data the way you want so let's just go ahead and see how it works so if we want to get the revenue here and maybe subsequently get it per product or per country or per staff and we want to use that we are going to go to a new measure and then let's just say we call this revenue let's just say we call this total revenue total revenue total revenue your revenue here revenue so you can say that's total revenue. Now with DAX, you have to wrap it around something like sum. Then you say sum, that's when you see your tables are going to appear because without that, if you just went straight to sales, like we saw in the last video, it is not going to appear because it's not like an aggregation of your sum, your individual revenue, because DAX is something you're going to get an error which talks about row context. So it's like it's summing over the rows here so it takes a window it takes like all of this revenue it sums it so each time you put rice it will sum on all of the rice available and give you the graph if time you put maybe milk it's sum on it so let's just go straight and do that so we are going to go to sum and then now we are going to now choose what we want so we want the sum of revenue and then when we close it now we run it so what will happen is we we, we have this now if you see here there is nothing that has been 
added here like a column like we saw in the last video it doesn't add a column here it's so light but it just gives us this calculation here so if we go to our chart here and then we decide to get our product here let's just get the product in then we decide to get this total revenue here so you see we get our total revenue and now it's coming but from the DAX so it is lighter and then you just get it here directly so you could as well have taken this revenue and dropped it here it will still give you the same thing but then again we usually use DAX when as much as we can and then if we had to calculate an extra, uh, extra column we try to avoid it unless we want to use um, like slicers here which we saw like in the last uh, some couple of videos away so that is for some of revenue so same as if you wanted to get um, units sold you could as well just same thing go to get a new measure then you call it now total units so remember you have to wrap it around the sum total units for example let me just correct that to units then you say i'm going to let's just say total units sold sold then you go to sum you need to wrap it around the sum before you'll be able now to see your units sold so here you can get now units sold because you are now using that so again if you click on it it's going to run but then you would only see it appearing here so again like the same thing we did if you go here you can be able to add your total units sold here per product total units sold per product so that you can get or you can get now if you get your country let's say we take our product here so let's just say we take our product so you can also get it per country so the DAX formula can just go you can use it in any of these tables because you have that relationship and then you just have every country and its total units here easily so now let us say we wanted to calculate profit so we can go again to our table here then we get our new measure again new measure and then now what we are going to do we are going to say we need profit so we need profit profit so just like we saw in the last video columns and measures we will not just take the revenue minus cost line per line because if we even try the sales table will not will not um, give you you will not give us um the columns it will instead propose us existing DAX and that's what we are going to look at next that you can use another DAX as input to another DAX so let's go you need to get your sum of revenue so you need to aggregate it wrap it around the sum then you can now get your sales revenue minus you wrap around again your your sales you go again to sales table now you get the cost you close it then you press enter so with this now you've been able to calculate profit but not necessarily having the profit column here but having it as your um dax here so again if you go here and you decide to add profit here to this you decide to get profit here you'll be able to get your profit now using DAX which is a very good way of doing it and it's very very light and faster than going and adding a new column because you could have as well added a new column here to do your profit so it makes it faster for you it makes it um, lighter and it doesn't run it doesn't add a column here add columns here it just simply runs when you are creating the chart so now let's look again and another one so if for example you wanted to say i want to get now the profit and divided by revenue for example so now let's do that so let's go to new measure so we want to get the profit margin now so let's get the profit margin profit profit margin so 
profit margin is usually your profit divided by revenue so you have your profit here and then you also have your revenue here and you could say profit divided by you do the like the sales sum of revenue here but now you have your DAC so you'll be saying profit divided by your total revenue here so which means if you call your um, you go to your sales table you see now your DAX is one of the elements there which you can use profit then you go to divide go again to sales table and then you have now revenue so when you press the enter now you now have your profit margin here so if you go back to your table and then you click on your profit margin let me carry it and drop it here so you see here that you have your profit margin here which is there and then you can always um, have your profit margin here format whatever this is it here so it's interesting to know that you can use your DAX that you've created to be able to get the calculation of other DAX so here you get the DAX that was this one that was created here and then you get this other one that was created to be able to give you the profit margin as a new calculation that you can also use to do further calculations with them so it is interesting to know that and then one other thing you could do is that there are times you want just a quick measure so let's just say we wanted a quick measure if you click here a quick measure so it says what do you want to get maybe i want to get a profit for example now what is the calculation you want so you might say i want to get maybe um running total addition subtraction multiplication division whatever so you can say i want to get the profit and then i want to get a division so if you come here what is the numerator so you carry your you can carry your profit here and then you can carry maybe your revenue here so if i decide to get my profit here and i decide to get my revenue here for example and then i say okay now i get this which gives me a dax formula which i can adjust so i can now see that the dax is a divide profit by sum of revenue and then i can also edit this to maybe call it um, profit margin two so it's another way of doing it with a quick measure so quick measures can make it easier for you to be able to let it start the formula and then maybe you can adjust it how you want so if i press enter i have this profit margin two which is the same as profit margin one but this was calculated using a quick measure why this one was calculated um not using a quick measure just using a new measure so i hope you have been able to see how you can use dax and even use other dax in another dax and be able to expand your data analytics um, results or information or output that you can produce so see you next video wish you good data log